been doing art since I was like 13 and I had my first exhibition when I was 18. Um, and to give my friends basically the opportunity to buy some of my art, I printed some of the art on t-shirts. So I kind of always used to integrate my art with fashion. Um, yeah. And so for me, when I left Newcastle and came back to mm -hmm. London, and decided that I wanted to kind of take a break from the art and move into, into kind of setting up this clothes company. For me, I just thought moving it and doing something that I've done before, so keeping art and, you know, I think the two come very much hand in hand. The company is obviously called Serge Denim, which has origins with denim, um, yeah. and eventually I would like to branch out into denim. Um, but I wanted to start with something small and something that I'm familiar with. Yeah. And that's why I started with t-shirts. You know, I've done them before and I wanted to establish the brand on one product and then kind of expand from that. Um, I mean, we've got the new collection of t-shirts coming out, but then we are also doing a jewellery line, um, which is really exciting. And um, a mix of things. We're doing some really cool necklaces, um, some rings as well, um, some earrings. Um, but it's, it's still very much in the early stages. Um, and then we're also, hopefully for the autumn winter, going to be doing some, some sweatshirts, some caps, and some accessories as well, so like some denim, rucksacks, bags. My final major project, um, it was actually pretty creepy. I did, uh, I'm really obsessed with, um, with found materials and like buildings and quite kind of, I really like peeling walls and kind of this idea of nostalgia. And I came across this old mental asylum, okay. which was like 20 minutes outside of Newcastle. Um, and I basically spent the whole year kind of researching this. First, the first thing that came to site was basically the building itself, which I just thought was amazing. Like all these walls peeling and it was mm -hmm. creepy. Um, and then I basically wanted to find out more about the actual building. So I started kind of looking into its history and picking out old photos. Um, and the whole thing kind of just came to life and then I started using materials from the actual site um, as well as kind of mixing in text from patients who were there um, and created this sort of installation which was my final piece. I heard you in Sweden recently, did you enjoy yourself? I loved it. My mum is actually from Sweden so oh. it was like a family get together. I went to visit my grandparents, who are pretty old now, they're 93 and 95. Wow. Um, and I actually took out the old range of t-shirts and we did a kind of family shoot in the woods as a kind of like farewell to the old collection. And then I also took the new samples and um, I had uh, this guy Matt Darlington, who's a really cool photographer, he came out and we did, um, did some shoots around Sweden, like around by the lake, and it's, it's amazing down there, really seeing it, yeah, so yeah. that was perfect. My mom went to Rio Carnival with her first husband in, it was 1975, 1978, and um, they took photos of, of the Rio Carnival for three years, and then at the end of it, they published this book, which is Rio Carnival in 1978. Yeah. Um, and I first went to Rio when I was 18, um, and completely fell in love with the place, and I went during Carnival. Um, and then when I came back, um, you know, I was trying to remember Rio and I was looking at mum's book and I just thought the images were unbelievable. And for me, it was just something that I had a lot of passion in, Rio Carnival. And looking at mum's book and all the photos, <laughs> I just thought they would be a perfect, you know, perfect way to start yeah. and to print on t-shirts. So yeah, part of the reason why I went back, I went back to Rio last year. Um, and I went with the first samples of our first collection, and I basically wanted to take back the subject to that, you know, to that origin. So take them back to Rio yeah. Carnival. And me and a couple of friends, we went and took photos of, of Brazilians uh, wearing the t-shirts. And part of the trip while I was there was trying to find um, a charity which I could sponsor. And so for that four weeks while I was there, I was kind of going from project to project. And these are kind of these little charities within the favelas in Rio. Yeah. Um, and I came across one favela which was so nice and it was it was unpacified. And basically most of the, the favelas now in Rio have all been pacified, which basically means that all the police have gone in, all the boppy, and they've pushed out all the drug lords. So favelas now, previously being very dangerous, are actually really safe. But there are now three favelas which um, haven't been pacified. And the one I've sponsored is one of those. So it is still quite dangerous but um, they're still very sweet and at the bottom of the favela there's a really nice small project 
Um, and the reason why it really kind of, it was something that I wanted to get involved in is because it had a fashion aspect to it. Just above the shop, they have um, all these little sewing machines and they basically get all these offcuts from factories near, near in the area. And all the kids kind of make these little, you know, little clothes and stuff like that. So for me, it was, you know, it was perfect. And then all the kids were so nice and I really worked there. And have you got anything planned for spring summer? Yes, we do. We do. We've got a few things lined up. Um, obviously, we'll be doing. We're still going to continue with the t-shirts, um, and really want to start pushing to do some tank tops as well. Um, and we're also doing an aftershave, <laughs> eau de serge, which is hopefully going to be really nice and fresh and summery. Um, so yeah, we're working on that now actually. I mean, part of the reason why I did Main Chelsea was because I thought it'd be a great opportunity to kind of, to help give Surgeon the platform. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, you know, they are two very different things in my life. Paid in Chelsea is one thing, and then, you know, Surgeon Eam, which is started before I did the show, um, is something very different, you know. It's, it's, so I wanted to make sure that the two are separate. So me doing yeah. Main Chelsea and me doing Surgeon Eam are two different things. Obviously, I have a lot of friends from school and a lot of, you know, a completely different friend group as well, which I, I do keep in touch with. Um, but yeah, when you're doing, when you're filming the series, it is, you know, because if you're not hanging out with them, then there's no storyline. So yeah, um, I don't think you feel pressured, but it is. It just seems natural to hang out with them. So, and uh, I mean, you know, even before the show, I was friends with those guys. So it's not like we went in there not knowing each other, and it was very kind yeah. of forced. It's always quite kind of. It's a little bit nerve-wracking before you go into the new season because you don't really know what, what what's going to happen. I'm excited, you know, me and um, Jamie and Francis are moving together, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, to seeing what's going to happen. I think it should be fun. Very different to what I'm doing, but I mean, one of my favourite brands is Ralph Ren. I've always loved Ralph. My mum actually, she used to design for Ralph uh, when she used to do knitwear jumpers. Um, so I love Ralph Lauren. A big inspiration for me is Tom Ford in terms of his work ethic, uh, work ethic um, yeah. and everything that he's done. This is going to be part of a celebration. My main inspiration since I was like 16 is Robert Rauschenberg. Um, and he again, he used to use found materials a lot and he would collage it with kind of photographs and, and build up layers and it was all about kind of this kind of uh, balance and harmony be between different textures and, yeah. and different spaces and stuff like that. So, but I have to admit, my mom actually is, is a big inspiration for me. Um, yes. She's very artistic, and she's been in the fashion business for kind of thirty years. So, for me, she's definitely the most kind of direct inspiration.